Hello, YouTubers.、Um, this is Johnny. Welcome to my Nasdaq channel. Today, I'm gonna show you how to disable Windows Update completely for your Windows 10 machine.、Um, I'm gonna use in two machines to demonstration this process. One is the older version, Windows 10, which is、uh, older than、uh, 1809 version, and because they have difference. Another machine is my host machine,、um, which is already upgraded after the 1809 version. They have one extra service you need to disable. Okay, let's look at、uh, this、um, virtual machine I built. It、uh, this is、uh, not the latest、uh, version of Windows 10.、Um, we can take a look at the version. So this is the Windows 10 Pro、uh, version 1709.、Um, before 17, before 1809, there are only three services to disable. But after version 1809, you have four services. So let's start from this version 1709.、Um, basically, you need to go to service. dot msc. For this version, we have three services: background intelligent transfer service. Windows Update Service and Update Orchestrator Service. We're gonna do them. So we can disable them one by one. So first one, Background Intelligent Transfer Service. Stop it. Change it to disabled. Right. First failure. Take no action. Take no action. Take no action. So that's our first service to disable. Second service, update orchestrator service. Just scroll down. Scroll down. That's the one. Update orchestrator service. Disable it. Stop it. Take no action. Take no action. Take no action. Then apply. Good. For this version of Windows 10, the last service we need to disable is Windows Update Service. Stop. Take no action. Take no action. Just make sure when it failed, take no action. So that's pretty much how you can disable those three services from the older version of Windows 10. But if you are using any version after 1809, Windows 10 version 1809, you may have different services to disable. So let's take a look at my system. I can show you my version. Eighteen oh three. Actually, it's the same. After version eighteen hundred, you're gonna have these four services to disable. So Windows update. You can stop it here. You can disable and the recovery put into taking no action. Also, background transmission, background intelligent transfer services. You can do disable, stop, taking no action, taking no action, and then go down to. Update orchestrator service. Stop. You will find. So for this service, you will find you cannot change the startup type to the disabled. 
same thing on Windows Update. Stop. No, not same thing for Windows Update. For Windows Update, you can disable it from here, but there's another services you have to do with Windows Update Matic service. That's the one. Action is designed. You cannot set it to disable. What are you going to do? So, for those two services, Windows Update Matic service and Update Orchestrator service, you have to do it from registry tree. Let's start with uh, Windows Update Matic service. So, let's go to H key local machine system current control set services there's a service which name is WAAS Matic service here change the start from three Two, four. That's it. That's left for the service. Windows Update Matic service. And then failure action. Select it. And then tap zero in there. You're done. Now we're going to change the update orchestrator service. First, we need to stop the service from command line. Into run from as administrator. This is a using administrator privilege to run command line. Command prompt. So we do nest stop C. Yeah, we already stopped that. So then kind of using access is denied. So we can't do it from the command line. Then we still need same thing using register key to change it. So same go to service. USL service. Start value change to four. And failure action this change to zero save it okay now we go back here Now we need to reboot our machine. Machine rebooted. Let's check about services again. First services, we're going to check background intelligent it transfer service is disabled. Second is update orchestrator service. 
update orchestrator service is disabled. We wasn't able to do it, but now it began disabled. Then Windows update service, it was disabled. Windows update Matic service, it's all disabled. We are all good for now. There's no Windows update service running in background anymore. If you want testing for your application before the Windows update screwed it up, you can disable it. But it's not recommended. We always recommend to have Windows update enabled and keep your system updated as, as fast as you can. That's all. Thank you for watching. Thank you.